No, because I think we, we usually have one every Friday, every Friday or Thursday with, with her. Um, I don't know. Um, you know, having her is a huge help, you know, obviously, especially at Notre Dame because, you know, the things that we deal with are, you know, I don't think it's a lot, it's a lot like other, other schools, you know. <laughs> obviously, the academic piece is a huge part at Notre Dame and it's very tough. And, you know, she can even help with that side of it. You know, she teaches a couple classes, so she knows what we're going through. Yeah. I don't, you know, we obviously don't feel like we're underdogs. I think a lot of other people are out here saying that we're underdogs. You know, my mindset on it has been, you know, uh, there's four teams left in the country. And when you get down to this point, there, there are no underdogs. I mean, every team here is good and every team here can play. So I don't think there's any underdogs here. Right. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think if you make it this far and you still need fuel to go out there and play as hard as you can and play your best, then you know you really don't belong here. Like I said, I don't. I haven't taken it as any fuel. Like I said, I, I don't think there's an underdog. That's for, you know, the people outside of this room and outside of this locker room. But uh, for me, every time I step on that field, you know, I'm going to play as hard as I can. It doesn't matter who's across from me. How do you feel about when people make the gripe about Notre Dame even in a conference when they have to play a conference championship or anything like that? Um, that's probably one of my favorite parts about, you know, being at Notre Dame, that we don't play in a conference. You know, we could play anybody we want in the country. Um, uh, like Texas, playing Texas, that was probably one of my – favorite experiences playing at Texas. I mean, we lost that game, but it was just a cool atmosphere, and I don't think teams get to experience that all the time. Yeah, you know, B Book is a great person on and off the field. Um, you know, he does everything the right way. And uh, obviously, when we were both twos, uh, <laughs> it was kind of funny because when we were both twos, you know, we were always just, you know, balling out together on the two squad. And, you know, we just always had a great connection since then. Uh, but, you know, we got to show it on a big stage last year. And, you know, that's what we've been doing all this whole season. And that's what we look to continue to do. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, my family flies in a little bit later today, but uh, it's been it's been a cool experience being out here. Um, I was like, you know, I've been I played in Texas, but I've never been to Texas. You know, if that makes sense. Uh, it's cool seeing now, you know, outside of Texas. You know, Whataburger, I, I ate that for the first time. Uh, so it's it's been very exciting and uh, extremely humbling at the same time. It's good. It's good. It's not it's not Five Guys, but it's it's good. <laughs> it's not Five Guys, but it's it's good. It is good. I don't, Yeah, yeah, uh, that's that's what Clemson does, and they're extremely good at it. Um, you know, the narrative has been that you know Clemson corners aren't uh, that they're the weak point in their in their defense, and that's not true at all. Because you know, when you turn on the film, they're making a lot of plays, and they're you know they're covering very well. So uh, from that standpoint, it's going to be a battle on the outside. Um, it doesn't matter what other people think. You know, after watching the film, uh, we definitely know it's going to be a battle. So many guys in the NFL over the last half of those years. Yeah. Do you get a laugh out of that? Does that get some respect out of you? Or what do you no. Uh, you know, when you, when you have a program like Clemson, you know, nothing but respect comes to them because you can't say anything. You know, they've done it before. They've done everything before. So for me to sit up here and say anything less than, you know, respect them would be, you know, it just wouldn't be, it wouldn't be right. You know, they have great players on both sides of the ball. You know, uh, I think that, you know, they produce NFL talent each and every year.